Hello and welcome to Let's Just Bake It. Now with Christmas not too far away, I think it's time to bake up a Yule log. Now we associate this with Christmas, but of course it is just a basic Swiss roll uh, covered with chocolate. So this recipe could be used anytime throughout the year. So let's just bake it. So let's just take a look at the ingredients we're going to need for this Yule log. So the ingredients we're going to need for the mixture of the cake are as follows. Plain flour, 100 grams. Caster sugar, 100 grams. Um, we're going to have some cocoa powder, um, some baking powder, uh, some mixed spice, four eggs, some vanilla extract, and about 10 grams of vegetable oil. So with the plain flour, we're going to put a teaspoonful of baking powder in there. Give that a little mix round. And we're going to add some cocoa powder. We're going to put about a quarter of a cup or 60 millilitres into that. Okay, so let's put a cup in there. Just Smooth it off. Okay, and add that to the flour. And mix it in. That should be our dry ingredient of sort of oil. Actually, there's one more thing I nearly forgot, and that's some mixed spice. So, about a teaspoonful of mixed spice. Add that in, and we'll give that a stir as well. So now for the wet ingredients, uh, our caster sugar, we'll pour that into the bowl. And then we'll put our four eggs in there. Okay, then run this to the mixer. And leave that for a couple of minutes. Okay, so. This looks pretty good now. You can see the consistency we've got on that. So it's the sugar and the eggs, there's a lot of air in there now, um, which has been given a nice creamy mix. So I'm going to put some vanilla extract in there, about a teaspoonful of that. And our vegetable oil as well. Okay, we'll just get that a bit more of a mix around again. We'll switch this on. Okay, so what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the dry mix in now. I'm going to sieve this in. Just so that we don't have any lumps there. And then we'll put this back into the mixer. And switch back on. Just want it on a low 
mix just to fold the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. So the cake mix will need to go into this tray, but I'm going to put some baking paper in at the start with. But first, if I stick the baking paper down, I'm just going to run some butter around the tray. Get it right into the edges there. And then with the paper, we'll place that into the tray and push it into the corners. Okay. Then we've got some vegetable oil again. We're just going to oil over the top of this paper. Okay, that should do. And then we'll pour the cake mix in. Okay, just make sure you run it all into the corners. So we place the cake mixture now into the oven, preheated oven. Turn it down to gas marked four or 160 degrees centigrade. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes and then check the cake. Okay, so I think this should be done now. It's been on for about 10, 12 minutes. That looks okay, good. Good, so what we want to do now is just sprinkle a bit of icing sugar over it. And then we'll place another bit of baking paper over the top of it. Okay. And I'm using a chopping board here, just going to turn the whole lot over. And that should just release from there, which it does. And then with this we'll peel back that paper to reveal the cake. Okay. Right, put it back on there and we're just going to turn that back over again. Like so. Take that off. Take that off and then what we'll just do is trim the edges up. So it's come out quite square anyway but um, just to Trim the edges up to make it a nice square surface, square edge, well, I should say, to the cake. Whilst it's warm, we want to roll it up with the baking paper we've got, and this will get it nicely into the shape more of a Swiss roll.
Okay, and we'll leave that to cool. So now we need to make the cream filling up for the cake. So let's just take a look at the ingredients we're gonna need for that. Okay, so icing sugar to start with, 100 grams of icing sugar, 100 grams of butter or margarine. Um, we want the zest of the orange and also some cream. Now I've gone for some brandy cream as it's Christmas. Um, but again, that's optional. You don't have to go with that if you don't want to. So firstly, we'll add the icing sugar in with the butter. And then mix that all in. Okay. Then we get the orange and we get the zest from the orange, which we'll add to the cream mix. Okay, then we we'll add the orange zest to the mix. Along with a tablespoon, tablespoonful of cream. And mix that all in together. So we're ready to unroll this now. So it's cooled down nicely. Okay, looking good. Now we'll put our filling into the, into the cake. And then spread this all over. Don't go right up to the edge because when you roll it, uh, the cream is going to squeeze out a little bit anyway. Okay, and then very carefully you want to roll this back up again. Obviously with the paper on the outside of it this time. You might have a bit of an excess of, flu of um, cream here. It's okay, we can just wipe the excess cream away. Okay. Looking good. So what I'm going to do is transfer it to some cleaner paper. Place that in the fridge. Right, once the cake is in the fridge, uh, we'll make up the other topping, which is going to be chocolate. So we've got some broken up dark chocolate here, got a chocolate pot, so let's melt the chocolate. Right, let's switch this on and get some chocolate in the pot. Okay, let's let that melt. This is mixing down nicely. The other way to melt chocolate is having a glass bowl over a saucepan of hot water and that will also melt the chocolate nicely. But this is coming along well. Soon be ready to pour over the cake. Okay, I think this is ready now. Okay, so let's get some of this chocolate. We'll start off with tipping some over the ends. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll pour some over the top. Then smooth it all off from the top and onto the sides. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is just run a few sort of lines down as if it's bark. Okay, we'll leave that to cool. Okay, I think the chocolate has dried enough on this now. So we just want to remove it from this, this bowl. place onto the clean well okay and then we'll pick this one up and place it on the red board and now the finishing touches so we're with a frosting of icing sugar give it a sort of a snowing effect Then we put some holly into it. Have a Merry Christmas. One robin. And we'll put a second robin just there. There we go. There we have it, one chocolate new log all ready for Christmas now. Thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed what you've seen please give a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of these videos please subscribe. Thank you very much.